you need to collect your bowel motion before it goes into the toilet. You could do this by using lots of folded toilet paper, using a plastic bag or rubber glove over your hand, or using a clean disposable container, like an old ice cream tub. Use whatever method is easiest for you. Just make sure that what you use is clean and disposable. When you're ready to collect your first sample, write the date on the first flap of the kit and open it. You take one of the cardboard sticks and get a small sample from your collected bowel motion. Then you wipe it onto the first window. Then take a second stick and take a sample from a different part of the bowel motion and wipe it onto the second window. You close the flap by tucking it under the tab here. You can wrap the sticks in toilet paper and put them in an outside bin. Flush the rest of the bowel motion down the toilet and dispose of whatever you've used to collect it. You need to store the kit somewhere away from heat and sunlight. You might like to put it in a sealed container like an old Tupperware box for example. Then you just do exactly the same thing for two more bowel motions on separate occasions when it's convenient for you. When you've completed the kit, you put it in the prepaid envelope. This is a special hygienic foiled lined envelope which has been approved by the post office. Then just pop the envelope in the post, you'll get your results within two weeks. Just nipping down the letterbox, send off my screening kit. Well done, what happens now? Well they send me the results within two weeks. Occasionally apparently the lab can't get a clear result, in which case they'll ask me to do a second kit. And other than that it's either a normal result or if it's an abnormal result they'll ask me to go in for further investigations. Sounds a bit scary. Well if it is an abnormal result they'll probably discuss with me the possibility of a colonoscopy. That's looking inside my bowel to see if there's a problem. But look, only 2% of people get an abnormal result. Let's just hope I'm part of the 98% that gets a normal result. See you in a minute. Some people are asked to repeat the test because the laboratory couldn't get a clear result. Ultimately, about 98% of people will get a normal result from their test kit. This means no blood was found in your samples. No screening test can guarantee that you don't have cancer. So even if you get a normal result, you should still be aware of the symptoms of bowel cancer. People with a normal result will be offered screening again in two years, or can request screening if they are over the invitation age range by then. Around 2% of people will get an abnormal result. This isn't a diagnosis of cancer. It simply means that traces of blood have been found in your samples. Other causes can include polyps or piles, also known as hemorrhoids. If you get an abnormal result, you are offered an appointment with a specialist screening practitioner at a local screening centre to discuss having a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is where a thin, flexible tube with a tiny camera on the end is passed into the back passage and guided around the bowel. It looks for any abnormalities on the bowel lining. If polyps are found, they can often be removed painlessly during the colonoscopy. Around 1 in 10 people referred for colonoscopy are diagnosed with cancer. If this happens, they are referred to a multidisciplinary team at a local hospital for further expert care and treatment. Well, I sent my kit off five days ago and uh, 
must admit I'm getting a bit twitchy about getting the results. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still glad I did the test, but I'll be even gladder when those results come in. And I think I'm going to ask Val if she fancies a walk. <laughs> Take my mind off it a bit. Got my results letter. I only sent the kit off last week. It says I've got a normal result and that they'll ask me to do another screening in two years. <sighs> I'm relieved, I can tell you. It may not have been a very pleasant thing to do, but uh, well worth doing in my opinion. Oh, excuse me. Hello mate, how are you? Well, sounds like a good idea. Um, Val, it's Jim. He's asking if I'd like to play nine quick holes before lunch. I don't see why not. Sounds like a good way to celebrate your test results to me. Great. Yep, you're on, mate. I'll see you down there in about 20 minutes, OK? <laughs> right. That's me done then. And I'm off to show Jim what a real golf swing looks like.